This test tube contains substrate molecules that have a tendency to convert to another form by splitting into product molecules. However, this reaction occurs only very slowly without an enzyme. Enzymes speed up the rate of a chemical reaction. The active site of the enzyme provides a pocket that holds the substrate molecule in position. The enzyme may put strain on the molecule, or perhaps electrical charges on the enzyme facilitate the chemical reaction. Enzymes can be regulated by various chemicals that act as inhibitors to the reaction. A competitive inhibitor is similar to the enzyme's natural substrate and binds to the active site of the enzyme, preventing substrate molecules from binding. By blocking the active site, a competitive inhibitor significantly decreases the rate of the enzyme-catalyzed reaction. The binding of a competitive inhibitor is reversible. Also, with a competitive inhibitor, if the substrate concentration is increased, the substrate is more likely to bind, and the enzyme is active again. An uncompetitive inhibitor is a type of regulator that binds after the substrate binds to the enzyme. The binding of substrate to enzyme creates a binding site for the uncompetitive inhibitor, which binds and then prevents the release of products. Unlike competitive inhibition, uncompetitive inhibition cannot be overcome by adding more substrate, because the inhibitor and substrate don't compete for the same binding site. However, uncompetitive inhibitors can become unbound, allowing some product formation. Uncompetitive inhibitors decrease the rates of enzyme-catalyzed reactions. A noncompetitive inhibitor is a type of regulator that binds to an enzyme at a place other than the active site. Upon binding to the noncompetitive inhibitor, the enzyme changes shape so that normal substrate binding cannot occur. Noncompetitive inhibitors decrease the rates of enzyme-catalyzed reactions. Noncompetitive inhibitors can become unbound, so their effects are reversible.